Hey, Christy Mattoon here from Mind Rewire. How are you this morning? I just want to show you where I'm sitting um, and what I'm doing. And while we're sitting here talking, I want you to do your breath work. So it's a big breath in. And a nice, long, deep exhale. Big breath in. Nice, long, deep exhale. While you're breathing in, go ahead and take that next big breath in. I want you to expand your rib cage as much as you can. Open up that rib cage. No pain, no fear, no hurting, right? If your breath is an issue, just do what you can. But open up that rib cage as you're inhaling. Bring your oxygen all the way to the top of your head. And then slowly release that oxygen through your mouth. Nice, long, and slow all the way down out of your system. Inhale, pulling it back up and in. Opening the rib cage. Get the oxygen all the way to the top of your head. We're gonna hold it for a second. And then as you release it, I want you to notice the oxygen leaving your body, moving down around you, all the way down out of your body as far down as you can, and then hold it for a second. And then a nice, long, slow, big inhale. Again, opening that rib cage very intentionally, trying to create space inside your chest, bringing the oxygen, any energy you're feeling all the way to the top of your head, and then releasing. Nice, long, and slow, as long as you can exhale. And then hold it at the bottom for just a second. And I want you to keep breathing, big inhales, opening up the chest, opening up that rib cage, nice, long, deep exhales. Keep breathing just like that for a few minutes while I talk to you. And bring your, your hands over your heart. You can bring your awareness into your heart space. So we're going to get heart coherent while we're talking. It's a good practice to do this, being heart coherent while you're doing something else. It trains you to stay in your heart space, even while other things are going on. It trains you to stay in your heart space. We're going to go ahead and step outside. And um, I, wanted, I want to show you the mountains where I'm standing. It's like 32 degrees out here right now, so it's a little bit chilly. A little bit cold. We've got some birds chirping this morning. I was out here this morning doing some stretching, doing a little bit of movement. And I want you to start doing that every morning. You get heart coherent, do a little bit of breath work. And then while you're stretching, while you're moving, make sure you're doing your breath work. Those big inhales and big exhales. And there's a little bit of pink in the sky. So pretty oxygenate your system but they also move energy it'll help move the neuropeptides in your system right so whether they're negative or whether they're positive if you start doing this breathing you're going to calm down your central nervous system and get some better level chemicals inside your body okay heart coherent means you're inside your heart heart coherent drives energy through your body differently than being brain coherent Brain coherent helps you think, it helps you straighten things out, it helps you move things from your subconscious mind. So does heart coherence, but heart coherence also turns on other energy centers. Heart coherence also sends other chemicals through your body that aid your body in healing and that help you hold the new neuropeptides that make you feel good, right? The oxytocin, the serotonins, the dopamines, all the higher level stuff. That heart coherence helps you keep it in your system, and it helps you train your system differently. You can't feel the same and act the same if you're in your heart as when you do when you're thinking about fear and things that are going on around us right now. All right, so we want to stay heart coherent as long as we can. When you go outside and you move and you stretch and you breathe, I want you to look across nature. Go find a place where you can stand, even if it's off your own backyard balcony, whatever it is you get to look at. 
And I'm just happen to be in a magical place. If I turn all the way around towards where the front of our house would be, there's still mountains over there. And this is the back of my house. Hello, back of house. And then there's mountains over there. And we've got this weird little uh, Dr. Seuss tree in our backyard that I love, love to talk to. <laughs> Poor little Dr. Seuss tree. All right, and there's mountains over there. And I just, I'm in awe. I'm absolutely in awe. Every morning I step out here. If you're somewhere where you're in the big city or whatever it is, step outside and still be in awe. Be in awe of the sky as you look up. Really look into the clouds. Don't just look at them. Look into them. Look through them. Even try to become the clouds. Right? In this heart coherent state, you can move your awareness in ways that you might not be realizing. Move your awareness as you inhale and exhale way back over there to that mountain range. Can you feel the coldness? Can you smell the air? Be there with it. Move yourself through the clouds, out into the universe. Direct your awareness towards source energy. Maybe you see it like it's a big light in the sky, a big bright energy ball. Maybe you see something else. Whatever your visual is of source energy, whatever your visual is of God, direct yourself straight to that place and feel that energy. You are that energy. You're no different than that energy. And you have to start realizing that that energy of creator, of creation, is the same energy content. It's the same makeup as you. You are no different than this energy. There goes some birds. Oh, I missed them. So amazing. The birds have no clue what's going on, do they? They're just out here singing and enjoying their life. What a trip. There goes some more. We've got a huge migration going on up through here right now. We've seen herons. Um, I can't think of the name of the other bird with the big old pelicans. Saw a bunch of pelicans flying over. Be in awe. Move your energy towards the birds, towards the sound of the singing. You move your energy beyond your physical body and you do it all the time, you just don't realize it. You give your energy away by moving it into places that don't necessarily deserve your energy. You move your energy into the center of the source of creation and recognize that that energy is the same energy as you. Inhale and exhale in that place. Big breath in. And as you release that breath, I want you to become more of that energy. Become more of the field that you're truly made up as. Not this matter, not this density that we think we are, because it's what we project in front of us, but is a true source of energy that creates all of it. Can you feel that? Can you allow yourself to be a part of it? And then bring yourself back, recognizing you're part of this source energy. Bring yourself back to your physical body. You bring yourself back to your physical body, recognizing yourself as source energy. You're no different. It's the same. Can you create a memory of the feeling that you have right now? Create a memory of the feeling that you have right now. Don't allow yourself to forget this place. To forget the way that you're feeling as source energy right now. Take a nice big breath in. And on that exhale, I want you to feel your body receiving this information. Feel your body receiving this information. Don't let it leave you. And as you come back into yourself, 
I want you to still recognize yourself as this energy, as this source energy, the source of life, the source of creation, the source of unconditional love, the source of truth, the source of peace. I hope this blesses you today. And I want you to come back to this often. Save this video, share this video, keep this video in your library. And come back to it often. Remember this place until you've got it trained into your system. This is kind of the deal about doing some of this work is you have to train it into your system. You have to do it often enough and become so much more aware of this new energy than you are of the energy of what you think's going on around you. And I'm not downplaying the coronavirus. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying the perception of it is what's getting you if you're having an issue with it. If your intention is to live through it and to be okay through it and to come out on the other side even better, then this is the place you need to be, is inside creation energy where you have control, where you have the ability to alter your own reality. And you can breathe and get into the now moment and find satisfaction right here, right now. Find this level of peace and this level of calmness that will drive you into a better place every next minute, every next second. Do you understand? All right, so this is a level of attainment. This is a level of ascension. And if you can start to master this level, there's other levels you can get to. But you have to master this knowing that you are the energy of creation. You are the energy of God. You're no different. You're not separate from. You're not apart from. You are that energy. It is what you're made of. You are made up of the same fabric that everything is made of. And it's all alterable. Just like the seasons of the, of the year alter, so are you, right? You have the ability to take that control. I love you. I bless you. I hope this helps. Leave comments below. Um, if you have questions, you want to get on my website, mindrewire.com. You can actually grab a 30-minute appointment. Right now, they're totally free. I'll sit with you for 30 minutes and do whatever you think you need. If we need to do a balance or whatever, something to help you move into the next steps. I totally will help you do that in this period of, right uh, of time right now. It's totally free, that 30 minutes. And if you just have questions you want to ask and you want to write things out, just shoot me an email at christy at mindrewire.com. Christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at mindrewire.com. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.